All right, no surprise that it's a full house today. It's a Saturday. It's uh, one of the better, better? No, that's not a good way to say it. One of the best. We'll just call it one of the best. One of the best uh, cities in Japan, Osaka. So much to do and see. Nearby, you've got Kobe as well, which is absolutely one of my favorite places in Japan. And up on the Doh Hill now, you have one of the fan favorites there. You see a lot of his towels in this, the audience, but a lot of the towels for his opponent today as well. And it's Ura, the Maigashira 1, currently 3-3. Three and three. There he is, taking on Sekewake Wakamoto Haru, who's currently 4-2, and two, just slightly better. Ura, of course, one of the smallest salt throws in the top division. And, uh, yeah, this should be a fun one. Uh, Wakamoto Haru doing better than the other Sekewake, Daisho, but... That they could even out today if Wakamoto Haru loses and Daisho wins. Ura at 31 years old, 175 centimeters. And there you see, just kind of yo-yoing. A win, a loss, a win, a loss, a loss. No, a win, a loss, a win, a loss, a win, a loss. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I guess if that uh, rings true, he'll get a win today. <laughs> um Lots of updates coming up in the videos uh, that are coming up. If you're watching in the playlist, you're watching them in, in chronological order. Uh, I'll update you who won and lost earlier in the day. Um, I'm going to talk about who's on the leaderboard of the contest. And, uh, of course, I'll just mention it again. Uh, in case you don't know, um, there is no Teru no Fuji match today. He pulled out of the tournament. It should show up uh, in one of the later videos, probably the Takakeisho match. You'll see the Kyujo announcement on the Dohyo. Um, so Tobizaru will get a free win today. Uh, the final match of the day will end up being Takakeisho Nishikigi. So Takakeisho, that's where you want to look if you want any of the links to uh, the contest standings page, the tip jar, uh all the other links that are normally in the final match of the day will all be under the Takakeisho match. And then after that, the Ozeki will rotate who's in the final match of the day. So today it's Takakeisho. Tomorrow on day eight, uh, the final match of the day will be Wakamoto Haru versus Kotono Waka. So that's kind of a fun matchup. And then Kirishima will be in the final match, then Hoshoru and so on. And they'll rotate around like that. So... Yeah, just always the links to anything you might need are in the final match of the day. Okay, turn on to commentary, see how this one goes. So yeah, so he's going to jump up here. Not going to get a chance to fight the Yokozuna Wakamoto Haru this tournament, but he will get to be in the Musubi no Ichiban at least, at least once, maybe more than once, you never know. <coughs> when he fights Kotonowaka tomorrow. So just a chance at quite a few... Uh, white envelopes, which are stuffed with money, so it's always good to win the final match of the day if you can, especially if you're fighting a non-Yokozuna opponent. And believe it or not, guys, there was a time when we had three or four Yokozuna. So um, we used to rotate the Yokozuna during the match, and even somebody like Hakuho would have to take his turn uh, back when we had... For instance, Kakeru, Haramafuji, and Hakuho were all Yokozuna at the same time. So uh, that hasn't happened in quite a while. Some of you are newer to sumo and you're used to just having one Yokozuna. And sometimes he shows up and sometimes he doesn't. But, uh, yep, you're allowed to have as many Yokozuna as you want. So uh, we definitely need a new one. Because I don't think Terunofuji is going to last all of 2024. Okay, here we go. で、勝ち合い、剣が入ったall right so the Sekewake uh, adds another win he's now five and two 
and he's set up well to fight Colton Owaka tomorrow. Colton Owaka is currently also 4-2, could go to 5-2 and two if he gets a win today over Mace. So they could face each other tomorrow in the final match with the same record. Or Wakamoto Haru will go in slightly better with a one-win advantage. Uh, Ura now 3-4. and four. So under 500, as they say. He's got a, you know, he's at Maigashiro 1, so he wants to get back up to Komasubi. Got to get at least eight wins. And, uh... But he's fought a lot of the guys ranked above him already. Let's let's click on him while you why they do this kind of replay. He's fought Hoshoru, Terunofuji, Kirishima, Takekeisha. Yeah, so he's fought every Ozeki. He's fought now on day six and day seven. He fought both Sekewake. Lost to both of them, unfortunately. Daisho and Wakamoto Haru, but he fought both. He has Abi tomorrow, so there's a Komasubi, and then the second week will be a lot easier on him because. The opponents will be high rank Maigashira as opposed to Sanyaku ranked. So he still has a very good chance of getting his eight wins. All right. Uh, speaking of Daisho, come on back. He fights Asanoyama next. <laughs> 